finally there is a stable diffusion model that can do fingers well look at these fingers i mean like every time somebody shares a stable diffusion picture the first thing that i look at is fingers can it do fingers well or the eyeball symmetrical does it look so weird like you know like zombieish but this model this model that got released a couple of days back can really do fingers well according to the screenshot but does it really fare well when you test it out that's what we're going to find out in this video because when i tested it out it actually does fingers well you can see five fingers five fingers and it looks good um, i mean i've not explored it a lot but this looks really good so i wanted to make a video where i would tell you about this model and also you would get to play around with this model just on your own google collab notebook first of all what is this model called this model is called protogen x 3.4 and it's their official release now what is a protogen model a protogen model is a protogen v 2.2 model with five percent of these models so this is a merged checkpoint of all these models you've got robot diffusion you've got open journey you've got analog diffusion you've got rpgv2 and some of the pictures that it has created really looks good like look at the fingers here and then you know the details around this image the clarity i mean this looks really good like at least like when i see these images it looks really good nothing like what i've seen before because of course fingers are fingers so now i'm going to show you how you can use this model protogen on your google collab notebook thanks to automatic 11 11 and also thanks to the last bin you're going to go to the last bin google collab sorry github page the fast table diffusion go click the automatic 11 11 interface or the button and then that will open a new google collab notebook for you when it opens in a new google collab notebook you can either go to file and then save a copy in your drive or you can just open it directly from there whichever you prefer because you have to give access to your google drive so make sure whatever you comfortable you do that the next thing is run all these code first thing is give access to the google collab notebook next install automatic 11 11 repo then install the requirements then load or download the model and this is exactly where you need to paste the ckpt link so this ckpt link is the model that has been uploaded to the hugging face model hub so you can like it's not a diffusers model for you to play around with it directly but it is a ckpt and there are helper scripts which can help you convert the ckpt into the diffusers compatible file format so if you want to use it with hugging face diffusers you can do it but right now for all automatic 11 11 fans this ckpt is uploaded to this hugging face model hub repository and that link is something that you need to give here inside the link underscore ckpt category so don't don't do anything here just inside this select the link and when you want to select the link um i, I might probably give you this link myself when you want to select the link all you have to do is you have to go here select the model and right click the download button and copy the link address not not just this address right click this and then copy this um, it could be you know it 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 be highly different because this will actually download it i don't know if the former would work but this definitely works once you do that then next start stable diffusion if you're happy with the uh, the base like local tunnel link you don't have to tick mark it if you check mark this then you're going to get a hugging face public url click this you're going to be greeted with this amazing hugging face sorry amazing automatic 11 11 ui and inside this now you can see that the model that you you downloaded has been selected which you can also confirm here so when the model is being loaded you can see the model weights are loaded from the model that you just downloaded so that is completely fine now i've got these prompts the positive prompt and the negative prompt from reddit so like and that seems to work very well so i generated about five images at a particular setting the seed value and all those things are given in the reddit post i'll link the reddit post in the youtube description so you can simply copy paste but from what i see the images look really good like uh, I, I mean here right now the sample um, the number of steps is 20 you can increase the number of steps and the sampling method is dpm plus plus sd caras and also i'm generating 512 by 512 i wanted to see five images with a guidance scale of 10 and then the particular seed value when i click generate like i said you have got positive prompt and negative prompt both 
when I click generate, it's going to take a bit of time because I'm generating five images. But what I felt is the details around these images, like the fingers, the background, the depth of field, everything looks really good at, at least. And one of the things that I've always felt is these models haven't got bit, haven't gotten better in any time with respect to fingers. I mean, they do better with faces these days, but with fingers, it's still a lot of work. A lot of people who run AI SaaS business, they, they sometimes, you know, manually fix these fingers for a full photo shoot. But this, this particular one looks like the one that might be closer to what we get with perfect fingers from stable diffusion. And I've not tried a lot of options. So right now I've just tried one particular image, the prompt that they have given, but we can see how it looks. So let's try, let's try different options with this prompt. Let, let us uh, generate this particular image, the five images, and let's see how these images look. And then let's try another set of images. So we have got these images. You can see the fingers do not again. Uh, I don't know the last one if it looks better, but here the fingers look good. The fingers look good here. So overall it looks okay. So now what we're going to do is we want to play with this model and we are going to try a couple of options and then see how the output looks like. I'm going to go back to the batch count one because I don't want you to wait for a long time for this uh, five images to get generated, but we are going to try a couple of options. And these are the prompts that I learned from Reddit, not my own creation. I'm trying to generate the armored man and let's see how it is going to look like with this new model. So the prompt, okay, it looks really good. Um, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. But again, I don't get to see the full fingers here. So let's say full body shot with visible hands. And then let's try to generate it so that we can see whether we get to see the full body shoot. So I, I, I think I, I interrupted it. So I've, I've edited the prompt, the prompt again, I'll share it in the YouTube description. I have edited the prompt. This prompt is from this particular, uh, the model release page where they've got the positive and negative prompts. I've used the same one and you can, you can actually see like the, the fingers here are not perfect again, but you can see that it is doing okay. Um, better than before. Again, you can fix this. You can try to generate different ones and then see visible hands. Maybe don't look good. So let me say just full body, full shot body photo with hands and then see how it looks. Um, once again, like this is, uh, this is the, this is the model right now it has gotten released. Not a lot of people have explored. So if you explore, share your tips and then you can see here again, fingers look okay because somebody is holding it and you can generate few images like different, different images. Like I can say model shoot, extremely detailed, full body photos, beautiful artworks, medieval armor. I can say. Lara Croft. Is that the right spelling? I don't know. Lara Croft. Let's see. I've I've clicked generate now. Um I would I'm I'm trying to create the Tomb Raider and then see how it looks. Uh, the image of the Tomb Raider. Once again, I've still stuck with photo with hands and um and, and let's see. This okay, this this looks extremely good. I, I mean, like honestly speaking, this looks extremely good. It looks good. Perfect. And uh, the next thing is I would like to try somebody else. Maybe I can say wonder woman Then give a space here, click generate and then see how it looks like. Again, these are not realistic images. These are like, uh, these are not like realistic photo shoots. These are actually uh, art. Uh, so we, again, this is 1.5. So that's why Greg Rutkowski is working still. Okay. This is wonder woman. Cool. So let's now go away from this and then try something different. So close up studio lighting, um, portrait of a young Chinese girl. And then let's see, it's a very simple prompt. Um, I'm not sure how it works for a very simple prompt. Then we, we have got tons of negative prompt. So technically it shouldn't work bad. It should work good. I mean, I, I didn't say close up portrait of face. So let's see how it looks like. Okay. This looks cute. This, I mean, the eyes are really good. I would say uh, for starters and it looks super perfect. Close up studio lighting portrait, full body photo shoot portrait. I don't know if there is anything called full body photo shoot portrait. I think portrait 
means you just show the face um so maybe i'm confusing the model here by using an oxymoron saying full body photo should portrait but let's see how it does for this particular i absolutely loved this image honestly speaking this is full body the face is not quite good but the hand looks decent um so i'm going to remove the full body photo shoot and just stick with portrait full body full lighting portrait of young let's say an american girl maybe american college girl so just to up the age a little bit so let's see how this looks once again like a lot of things that we have been doing every time with um, at least like whenever i make a video i try to make human faces because that's one thing that i don't find these models to really good uh, every time but this this looks the previous one looked good and this looks absolutely the i i think i am obsessed with the eye details eyes look really good um, the eyes um, look absolutely amazing so that's something that i would like to say the details in the model does it, it doesn't naturally come out as like an ai generated picture like you can see say it might look you know too good to be realistic but i i just love this model so to quickly summarize what we have done we just learned about the launch of a new model called protogen x 3.4 and you can read the details of the model here in the it has i mean it's not like the perfect model at this point but this like i've seen like for a couple of my tries the fingers are quite good fingers are decent not perfect not every time you get like 5 plus 5 10 fingers but most of the times if you play with a prompt you can actually get decent fingers then what we did is we copied the model link we started up the last bins automatic 11 11 ui on google collab and then we ended up generating couple of options that we want so i will link all the required links in the youtube description make sure you check it out if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise peace see you in the next video